the tornado's taking the building! Dude, tornado survival is definitely a thing. Okay. All right, so obviously this is going to be a sick jump. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. That is too many thrusters. We just created a rocket car. YouTube, Modal Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Teardown, and as you can see, we are at this lovely apartment building, and it would be a shame if Komodo were to grab a torch and uh, torch it down. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, well, Komodo, this is the normal torch. It's kind of boring. It doesn't do much. Oh, <laughs> well, we have the Inferno version. So, normal torch. Inferno torch. This thing is basically a rocket, and I just cut a car in half. <laughs> oh, no, the poor building. All right, Komodo's just going to waltz in. You know what? We don't need to use the door. We just go, yeah, buddy. Yeah, oh, this is going to get laggy really quick, isn't it? Holy man, we could just cut the base of the building here. I love this weapon. Our tool. Our, wait, what is this supposed to be? Is it a weapon or a tool? You should comment down below. Let me know. I'm going to say it's a tool. Also, while you're down there, maybe hit that thumbs up button for some more teardown, and we're about to collapse this building, and it's gonna be epic. Hold on, everything's on fire right now? Uh, is it okay? Also, comment down below and tell me some stuff we should do in teardown, so maybe some ideas. I thought about doing some tower survival. I have a couple ideas for maybe blowing up the base of a tower and just setting in it and seeing what happens. By the way, is this tower, does it actually go down if I destroy this in here? Uh, I probably shouldn't stand right here. Just in case it does decide to collapse. Uh, come on. There can't be anything actually connecting this anymore, right? Uh-oh. Oh, there wasn't. Oh, it's actually uh, collapsing a little bit. I mean, it collapsed like two or three feet. Uh-oh. Uh, buildings are not supposed to sway like that. Um, hmm. Think, think, think. Okay, I got an idea. So, you know, if you're like cutting down a tree, you kind of want to cut it to one side. That way you can actually manipulate where it, uh, where it falls. Well, if you're getting my drift, uh, we're going to make the two buildings fall together. So all I'm going to do is go... Uh, oh, yeah, the lag is real. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. The lag is so bad. Okay, uh, we probably should have done this on a smaller scale, maybe. Uh, but Komodo likes to go big or go home uh, when it comes to teardown videos. So this is going to take me a second, but eventually we're going to make these two buildings fall into each other. Oh my, it's just so laggy. I don't think this is possible. Like, it's possible to cut a skyscraper in half with this torch. But uh, I think for added effect, just imagine I cut like a slice out like that and it did this. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was a... Uh, that wasn't a good idea, was it? Um. Oh, buddy. Okay. So as you can see, the two buildings have uh, collided together. Komodo has broken everything like normal. Uh, that was once a nice apartment building. Uh, I've been in there. Speaking of going in there, I've got another idea and I've got another weapon that I want to try out here. So let's make our way into here real quick. There we go. All right. So as you can see, we're in the nice lobby here. I've got a weapon though. Uh, I kind of want to go up probably about, let's go three or four stories here. So anybody that's played Rainbow Six knows that there's a breaching charge, and it's like one of the funnest things to do when you breach a window or a door. And well, we have that. It's been recreated in Teardown. So question is, can I abuse this? Can I place infinite charges? We can do a controlled demo, and I can set in the tower. Okay, um, let's start from the outside. That's probably the best way to do this, and then we'll work our way to the inside. I wonder if we can place enough of these to actually make the tower collapse. Uh, this is going to be pretty cool. You know, I should probably attempt this with a smaller skyscraper, but what would be the fun of that? So we're going to use the, uh, the lumberjack method. I'm actually going to kind of skew them up at a slant. So we'll go, actually, I should probably test how strong these are. Hold on. Uh, let's go here. How strong is this? Holy man. All right. That's plenty fine. We got this. So how's your day today? I'm doing fine. I'm having fun and tear down. I'm getting to, uh, actually place a bunch of breaching charges on the side of a building oh no is there a limit why would you make a limit to this you just limited my fun i can't place anymore can i what the you got you know what fine oh okay i did a lot of damage all right so we're gonna have to do this in pieces i was hoping maybe it would let me place infinite charges but 
I guess they won't let Komodo harness that kind of power. Uh, pretty understandable, but it's a little disappointing, but we're working at it. Okay. Oh, man, we totally could have done this uh, with infinite charges. Like, it's destroying enough of the inside that it would have become... Uh, it would have become separated. It would have been awesome. But no, Komodo can't have awesome right now. All right. Uh, there we go. Okay, we're going to actually set in this thing uh, once it starts to collapse, which I need to find a good place to do this. Also, it might burn down before that. Boom. There goes another chunk. Okay, we're down to basically a corner. So I'll get to the last bit, and then I'll uh, go up in the tower, and we will experience what it's like to, uh, I guess, be in a falling tower. Uh, do you guys think we're going to survive? Uh, I think there's a good chance that we do not. All right, so as you can see, there's a big gaping hole in the tower, and it's just connected by this one little bitty corner. Oh, no. It would be a shame if this corner were to get taken out and I were to stand inside of this thing. Uh, this sounds amazing. Hold on. Let's place a couple over here to collapse that side. All right, so we're going to go up here, and we're going to just waltz into the house, or one of these apartments. Is there a penthouse? Is that a thing? You would think that maybe that's the penthouse up here. Okay, I hope those stay up. Uh, I need to make a hole in the uh, window here. That way I can walk in. There we go. Up oh, on. Yep, that's how Komodo opens doors. All right, so please tell me those are still spawned in. All right, so here we go. Tower survival. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Oh, you can feel it. Oh, the building's tipping. Look at the stuff. Everything's floating. Uh-oh. 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 Which way is it going to go? Oh, the stuff's falling off the walls. Uh, this isn't good. <laughs> Wait, are we falling? I'm hearing some crashing noises. Oh, and it still feels like stuff's moving. You see the lighting changes. So the tower's definitely going down. Oh, it just settled. Oh, hold on. I feel like we're actually good. Wait, I still hear stuff falling. Is that a bad sign? Should we go out on the balcony or something and see what happened? You know, I thought that was going to be a lot more falling. Uh, I want some ideas for tower survival. What ideas do you guys have? Like, what would you do to make it a really good survival? Also, there goes the uh, the cabinet there. Hold on, it's starting to settle. Um, Let's go look at the damage. Oh, man, I just uh, went out on the deck and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, is it going to fall? Dude, we're definitely shorter. <laughs> the tower lost a little bit. Uh, hold on, if I run and press against something, I feel like I need to get this thing to fling. So I do have the tornado gun. You know what? Let's do this for funsies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is this gonna tip it over? Oh, come on, tornado, I need you to go this way. No, not that house, this house. Uh, here, oh, that's working. Oh, oh, the tornado's taking the building. Dude, tornado survival is definitely a thing. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, there goes the tower, and we're going this way. Yep. Okay, Komodo officially did it. Uh, that tower's gone. So, I got a question real quick. There is a map that I know has a bunker in it. If I were to spawn a tornado, how safe are you in the bunker? By the way, this is incredible looking. Like, the whole building's gone. It's getting sucked up into the tornado. Uh, yep. Well, we did a thing. We definitely did that. That was awesome. So, as many of you recall from the show, there is a bunker in here. Or like an underground lab. Grandpa Rick must have some secret lab, right? Which I'm thinking is going to work like a bunker. So, let's move the rug. Okay, so we can just pop this open here. And in theory, if we spawn a tornado up here, it's going to rip away at the house. But we should be good. That's a question. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn this bad boy and see what happens. All right. Get ready to run. And oh, no, that was a mistake to do that. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get to the bunker. Okay. Get to the bunker. Get to the bunker. Get down. Get down. Oh, there's debris blocking. Okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, we should probably move this. There we go. Okay, we're in the bunker. Oh, um, oh. I uh, also, I thought I just saw Mr. Minxies in there. Can do. Uh, yeah, there was something. Oh, there it goes again. There's something blue. Um, you know, this bunker, our underground lab, doesn't seem to be really strong. Um, yeah, everything fell. Uh, I mean, technically, I survived that, so that's a thing. Hold on, let's just walk out. What does the house look like? <laughs> does it look okay? Is it, 
if I oh um okay so the house didn't make it yeah that's uh kind of unfortunate isn't it all right so for our next thing we had to go back to the cliff map because this involves vehicles so we're gonna grab a fast vehicle let's grab this one here we're gonna drive it a little bit over here so there's a another uh, tool i don't think it's actually really that new but it's something we haven't covered before uh so it is like the gary's mod thruster tool so you can go clunk 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 you see the little points that's the way the thruster is going out so you can actually increase it or decrease it and we can hop into here so if i hit h you can see i've got little thrusters now obviously there's not a lot of power here it's not even moving the vehicle but you can increase the power so we'll increase 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 and yeah it's just not enough force to move it but uh no in komodo you can go clunk 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 and we just spawn in a bunch of these in theory we're gonna create a rocket vehicle how many is too many thrusters i don't know all right so obviously this is gonna be a sick jump so here we go three two one go oh no that is too many thrusters we just created a rocket car uh oh uh oh 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 okay that might have been overkill with the thrusters all right so before we go to the next thing i got a couple shout outs here uh, for some of the new uh toys that we've played with today so the inferno torch is by battle bob 72 definitely go uh, show them some love and the thruster toy is by nl third inl uh yeah that's a name also we're about to go check out something that is not new but people have been bugging me to go check out the map it's called the prison break by captain bear so it says you've committed crimes that I put you into a high security prison in order to reach the prisoner who killed your loved one, fight robots, discover secrets, and drown a man in this high octane stealth combat adventure. Okay, that sounds fun. So did it give me all my toys? Oh no, why would you let me have these? Uh, I've got thruster toys. <laughs> I've got, I think the Inferno. I, I think you're supposed to actually get out like legit like, and oh, this is creepy. Uh, what is this? Is, do I pee into this? oh it's a tip log okay so that helps me discover like tips uh is there somebody is that a dead body next to me you know this is fine so in theory i can just oh i can't get out that <laughs> are we gonna break the world here uh how do we want to do this what's that sound i hear robots it sounds like they're getting close um is this illegal how did i smuggle this in uh oh i might be too close to this okay well that worked breaching charge <laughs> hello my name is paul the engineer of this fine establishment assuming you're a prisoner <laughs> attempting to escape you might be able to find my logs around the prison what is what is this also what toys or tools should i have am i supposed to only use like maybe the oh geez there's a lot of vents here was i only supposed to use like maybe the sledgehammer and the thing and oh what is that what was that uh that's a robot okay that thing probably wants to kill me let's not go that way um hold on do we have a flashlight here we go all right so i don't know where i got the flashlight either okay that's a wait is that a dead end that kind of looks like a hinge oh here we go okay we can go this way this way so we're supposed to just make it to the next cell what's this uh oh this is the chow room what is that sound is something trying to hunt me in here this is creepy okay let's go this way oh here we go uh breaching charge oh okay we're gonna place that there and we're gonna go boom okay that probably made a lot of noise and let the guards know where i'm at but it's fine oh we destroyed half the room okay so this is the kitchen uh i probably should read the description as far as what it's gonna let me have but let's use this huh. There we go robot down we're, we're gonna say i i uh, smuggled this in too don't ask me how okay where do we go from here i feel like i might have covered up an exit uh on go through here oh here we go we got another door uh can i okay i can open this okay oh 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 okay i don't see any robots here all right where's the cell of the other guy uh, hello wait is this our cell i feel like we just made a big loop oh yeah it's definitely our cell okay so we made it back to our cell block uh on i can't oh uh, uh, stupid robots i don't know if these are prisoners or robots but we're destroying all of them uh oh i hear stuff like clanking and moving around in here this is creepy 
Hey, look at this wall. Oh, there's something behind that. Okay. Uh, I hear music. Here's the mess hall. Oh, there's guards up there. Holy man. Okay, uh, we gotta find another way out. Obviously, I think I should probably use a breaching charge here because something's happening in this room. All right, let's go. Uh. Okay, the walls. Wait, something coming. Uh oh. Okay, I think we're good. Uh oh. So uh, this thing's having a party in here. No party for you. There, there we go. Robot's dead. Okay, we gotta find a way across oh, this thing. They're still opening fire. Uh, okay, I need to clear this. Um, I could do a laser airstrike. I feel like that might be too much. <laughs> okay, breaching charge. Let's try to clear out this opening and uh, there we go. Opening's cleared. All right, we have just started probably a prison riot, so let's uh, go in there and have some fun, why don't we? Okay, open fire. Uh, oh, jeez, those things are so strong. By the way, I think you're supposed to have these, maybe these basic things right up here, and it's just, it let me have all my mods, which I'm completely cheating this now. It's fine, though. Let's use a disruptor and uh, let's open that door over there. We're, uh, we smuggled all this in. I bought these things. These are mine. There we go. Okay. We're going to disrupt the guards up in the glass up there. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, no. I made the prison <laughs> break level way too easy. You know, I should probably attempt this without the tools. I feel bad that I'm using these, but this is too fun to... Like, I want to use these now. This is great. Oh, where's the prisoner at? Wait. I'm back in my cell. I just killed everything in here just to not escape. Hold on, here's a yard. Uh... Oh, okay. Those just break. How do I get out of this place? Did I already escape? Maybe to the... Wait, I'm supposed to get revenge on a prisoner. Am I not? Is it maybe one of my cellmates? Hold on, look for somebody. Is anybody in any of these? Uh, are you... Hold on. How do we get into this thing? Oh. Uh-oh. That was the prisoner I think I was supposed to kill. Uh, wait, where am I supposed to go? Why is the alarms just now going off? Uh, it's fine. This is him. This is the guy I'm getting, uh, I guess, revenge on. Okay, we should totally get the heck out of here. Um, wait, how do you get out of here? Uh, spawn a tornado gun? Yes. Oh, okay. This is definitely going to open up something and we can escape the prison, right? Uh, this is, uh, there's a countdown. Hold on. What if we, can we go up? No, we can't go up. Maybe we just go out over here. It was a mistake to spawn in that tornado gun, by the way. Yep. Komodo totally broke this level. So there is uh, some stealth elements and stuff that you're supposed to do that I totally screwed up. So my only thing I know what to do is uh, maybe spawn in a nuke. Oh, I'm trying to get to it. We have airstrikes. Nuke, here we go. Yep, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh no. Um, Komodo broke the level. Yep. Real quick, what does it look like? Holy man. Dude, there was a whole set of things here. This is a whole, like, setup. Um, yeah, we definitely didn't make it out the right thing. Uh, just uh, looking at the, uh, the level from out here, there's a lot of cool stuff. How the heck was I supposed to get to this, though? So, oh. So, the question is, can you guys master the prison break level? Wait, what's this mean? Oh, mission failed. I like the little motivational, uh, message here. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to do one run with how I think you're supposed to do it. Obviously, you got this grate here, which I think they give you probably the blowtorch, if I had to guess, because how in the heck are you supposed to get out of this grate? You know what's weird is? That's the one thing I don't have. I don't have the blowtorch. Can I fizz gun that? No, you have to blow this open. Yeah, this might be actually kind of broken with the mods that I have in. I have a salvage zapper, so maybe this is what we snuck in. Huh? Does that work? Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, this is a tool I don't think I had, so this must be what the level includes. Uh, I hope they have refills for the ammo because I'm wasting a ton here. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's loose. All right, so we are out in the wild now. So I really just want to get over here and drown this guy, which I think I'm immediately supposed to do it, then escape. But how am I supposed to escape in the allotted time? Hold on, let's open this real quick. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. All right, so this is the guy that wronged me, apparently. And I, what, I'm supposed to drown him in poo or something? Or what are we doing here? Uh, is this him? The prisoner, primary target. 
He's hooked up to a big alarm box. Huh, can I cut that? Oh, I can't. So, am I supposed to just fling him into the poo? Like, here you go. Uh, this is for wronging me and my family. Drink the poo water. Uh, wait, what's this button? Oh, that's the alarm. You know what? Uh, uh, what about this? Oh, no, that's the extinguisher. That doesn't do anything to you. I'm zapping your head. Does that work? What if I zap this? Probably shouldn't zap that. Your head goes into the toilet. Uh, drink the poo water. Is this working? Is this... Am I committing prison crimes here? Uh, I think I, I won. Oh, you know what? You could have totally cut through the bars. Oh. So, did I win there? I think I drowned him. Okay. Let's just cut the bars open real quick. Boom. Now, technically, we're out in the prison. But this is where it gets dangerous. Okay. Huh? Okay, so that's the yard. I don't think we want to be out there. I don't think there's any positives to being out there. Here's the kitchen. Uh, there's the little thing there. Okay, there's people in here. Doesn't this just lead around, though? How do you, uh, how do you make it through? I think you need to find some more grates, potentially. And, oh. Okay, that does not work. I was hoping I could zap them. Wow, they got you. That's pretty embarrassing. Maybe perhaps get good. You know what? I can't get good at this level. I need to actually go there and figure out what's going on and what I'm allowed to use. But maybe we'll do that in one of the next episodes. I just want to kind of show you guys that this is a this is a thing in teardown that they're adding, and it's really cool to see levels like this. So definitely go check it out. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.